Hey guys. So about uh, two years ago, I decided to build a bicycle frame and I started looking around on the internet and the first thing I noticed is that I would need this thing called a bicycle frame jig. Um, the next thing I noticed was that jigs cost around 1300 and the price just goes up from there, like up to like 6000 So I decided not to buy a bicycle frame jig but instead I would take that 1300 and purchase equipment which would enable me to build a jig. Here I am two years later and the only jig I have in the shop is this one. <laughs> yes? Steve! That was the Irish jig, in case you were wondering. On to more serious matters. This is the Mechanical Hacks blog, and the author is Ty Bede. And in this blog, you will see uh, just about every type of frame jig there is if you do a search on the internet. So if you go here, you'll just see it all in one place. This uh, jig is the Anvil Journeyman Type 3. Uh, the jigs near the top are generally higher cost, and then as you get towards the bottom, they cost less. So this is the, uh, the Sputnik jig, which is a pretty cool name for a jig. And then as you get further down, uh, this is a very popular jig. It is the Arctos jig. I've seen people build this jig uh, themselves using aluminum extrusion. And this is the Henry James jig. And another Henry James jig, the Access jig. And the uh, Bringelli which uh, is more affordable, goes for around $13.50. This is a frame style jig which is more popular with hobbyists because of its uh, simplicity. Uh, this jig looks like it's kind of like, a, like an Arctos jig. And then various other jigs. Another jig that I came across while looking around was the Brew Bikes jig. Uh, this jig is made of machined aluminum and is pretty affordable. I think it goes for around 1200 and I almost bought this jig but ended up deciding to build my own. Uh, one really nice thing about Brew's site is he has this video which shows him putting tubes into the jig and fixturing it up. And up until this video, I had never seen this done before. So thank you, Brew Dude. Uh, you helped me out a lot with this. Sorry I didn't buy your jig. <laughs> I would, however, uh, recommend this jig to anyone who doesn't want to build their own and they're looking for something uh, affordable and simple. The next uh, thing I'll show you guys is this Instructables by Tanner W. He built an Octos jig using 8020 extrusion. So 8020 is the brand name of the aluminum extrusion and the type, there are many different sizes, this type is the 40 series. So 40 is actually stands for 40 millimeters. Uh, you'll notice if you look at the extrusion there's this slot, this channel, and on either end of the channel uh, each channel is within 40 millimeters. I'll put this link in the description. Thank you, Tanner W. Uh, this helped me out a lot. All right, here is the jig that I plan on building. This is the first version of it. And you'll notice that the neck of the jig, the part where the head tube is fixtured, uh, it is 80 by 40 millimeters. So I decided to change this design and I ended up with this, which is uh, has a neck of 40 by 40 millimeters, and you'll notice the neck is a lot like uh, Brew Dude's jig, but I changed it, and this is the final outcome. So what I ended up with is a lot like the uh, the Arctos jig, but a much lighter version of it. To build this jig, I will use the 8020 extrusion and uh, 
the type I got is the 40 series. So this is the uh, 40 by 40 extrusion. And the first thing I noticed when I was unpacking this stuff is how strong and sturdy it is. And it's heavy. So I actually changed the design a little bit and used thicker bolts to hold the jig together. Uh, this is the 120 by 40. Cool thing about the extrusion is there's various hardware that you can use to fasten the uh, different frame pieces together. Uh, this is just one example. And finally we have various uh, aluminum 6061 stock and some steel. Alright, that's all for this week. Uh, next week we will start building this thing. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys later.